it quickly becomes clear that Davidson is sick of the feud. Can you please take a second and calm down, he wrote. It's 8 a.m. and it don't gotta be like this. Davidson goes on to call Kim the best mother he's ever met and says that he is lucky that she's the mother to his children. I'm not gonna let you treat us like this and I'm done being quiet, he wrote. He then asks where Davidson is, to which Davidson replies in bed with your wife and sends a picture of himself. He replies by saying he's happy Davidson is out of the hospital and rehab, to which Davidson says you should try going to those types of places because they are helpful. Davidson then begins to ask Yi to meet up and talk their problems out man to man. He suggests meeting at his weekly Sunday service, but Davidson says he doesn't want the talk to be public. What you are doing to your family is dangerous and is going to scar them for life, Davidson wrote. Then, in an interesting change in tone, Davidson goes from talking down to Yi to offering to help them. I struggle with mental stuff too. It's not an easy journey. You don't have to feel this way anymore. There's no shame in having a little help, he wrote. The text thread ends with Davidson saying he's kept SNL and other comedians from making fun of Yi. It's unclear whether this is the beginning of Davidson speaking out more about the feud with Yi. But regardless of what he does next, it seems like he's reached a breaking point. Newsletter signups stay up to date on all the latest news from Boston. Common related news.